next one is a wildlife wildlife species of an so wildlife as as the different kinds of kinds of a natural vegetation in our country different kinds of a fauna also existed approximately as 89000 species of animals are present in our country <clears throat> 89000 species of animals present in our country in which as a large number of a large number of animals are living in a tropical evergreen forest and as a tropical deciduous forest here is also a animals living in a desertic parts of a thorny bushes alpine vegetation under which as a number of animals are present in our country animals which are present in a himalayan regions in himalayan regions these are the leopard sheep mountain goats the ibex the shrew and the tapirs are important animals of the himalayan region they are the uh, living as a particular cold weather conditions for example as a panda so yesterday we started as a classification of animals animals are generally categorized into the certain categories first as a normal species of animals first normal species normal species those species of animals which are present in everywhere in all the environmental conditions these are generally as a present normal species of animals cow buffalo goat sheep tiger uh, sorry dogs these are the normal species of animals which are present in our surroundings in a normal conditions all over the country as the normal species of animals next are category is a vulnerable species vulnerable species of animals vulnerable species of animals species of animals those species of animals which earlier lies in a normal category they will uh, present in a abundance but due to as a human factors their population decreasing day by day if in present if we will not protect them then what will be happen they will extinct from environment or either they may categorize under the endangered if their population not protected at present their existence not protected at present under such circumstances they may categorize under the endangered or extinct from environment it may extinct from environment for example elephants 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 clear elephants barasinga etc third category of animals are the endangered 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 species of animals those species of animals which are at present at the level of extinction due to the human factors they are reaching at the level of extinction if we will not protect at a present they may extinct from environment those species of animals which are reach at a level of extinction from biodiversity extinction from ecosystem are known as the endangered species those species of animals which are reaching at the level of a extinction their population is a drastically decreasing due to which as the they are now as the level of extinction if we will not protect them these number of species of animals they will extinct from environment they will extinct from environment for example bengal tiger as per the estimate during as a british age a number of a zoological surveys conducted around the 900, 1901 the beginning of a 20th century 1901 in our country 1 lakh 20000 total number of tigers were present till the independence their total number it was decreased till as a 40000 40000 remaining at the time of independence until 
1987, their percentage, their total number of tigers present in our country, they remaining as a 1200. Means drastically they decrease due to as a hunting and illegal smuggling of, smuggling of their body parts, their skin. This, uh, the skin of a tiger demanded in a world market, which leads to the decreasing the population of a tigers, Bengal tiger. So now as tigers are categorized under the endangered category, endangered category, same as one horned rhinosaurus, one horned rhinosaurus, one horned rhinosaurus, which is found in a Assam. It is also the endangered endangered. I'm again repeating as an endangered species, those species of animals, endangered species are those species of animals which are decreasing day by day due to hunting. The population of animals decreasing due to hunting and poaching. Poaching means as a smuggling. Smuggling of their body, par body parts, smuggling of their body parts, population of animals decreasing due to hunting and poaching. And now presently they are lies at the level of extinction, extinction. They are reaching at a level of uh, extinction. They are reaching at present at a level of extinction are endangered. For example, tigers, Royal Bengal tiger, comma, one horned rhinosaurus, rhinos, R-H-I-N-O, rhinos. Third, black buck. You seeing the one of the news that the uh, Supreme Court given as a verdict against of him. Clear? Black buck, rhino, one horned rhino, and tigers are categorized under the endangered category. Endangered category. Next are the done. Any questions till there? Any questions? Those species of animals endangered are those species of animals. Those species population decreasing and now reaching at a level of extinction. They are reaching at a level of extinction. Extinction, E X T I N. 1200 total number of tigers present in India till 1987. 1987, 1200 only remaining in all over the country. So those species of animals which are reaching at a level of extinction due to hunting and poaching. Hunting and poaching. After the independence government, it banned over a hunting. Hunting of tigers. So due to as a hunting and poaching, certain number of animals which are categorized under the endangered, their population decreasing in a drastic manner. Now they are reaching at a level of extinction. Extinction. Tigers, rhinos, and black buck. Yes, Laksh. Sir, first to repeat, Kardu. It is a endemic, endemic, endemic species of animals. Endemic species of animals. <coughs> endemic species of animals. Those animals, those animals which are living in a particular weather conditions, particular weather conditions, those species of animals which are present in a particular weather conditions, climatic conditions known as endemic. For example, Himalayan panda, Himalayan panda, Himalayan panda. Himalayan panda <laughs> in a particular cold weather conditions are desirable for its growth. Cold weather conditions. So those species of animals 
which are surviving in a particular weather conditions and in particular regions are known as endemic example himalayan panda himalayan panda yak y a k in a upper altitudinal regions where the cold weather conditions prevailing throughout the year are favorable for a growth of yak for the existence of yak penguins are not present in our country all these number of species of animals are in relation to the india no doubt peng so yak panda are growing in a such weather conditions particular weather conditions yes snakes which are present in a desert areas but a rattlesnake not present in india those species of animals which are growing in a particular which are present in a particular weather conditions and last one more category is there extinct extinct those species of animals which are not present in now not present in our earth in our nature those species of animals which are totally vanished their presence is vanished from environment are the extinct species they are the extinct species example dodo example dodo d o d o example dodo those species of animals what's it it's a 9th a class dodo yug we can normal species of animals those species of animals which are present in all environmental conditions normally in our surroundings example cow buffalo goat sheep dog cat these are the normal species of animals second is a vulnerable species of animals those species of animals which earlier as lies in a normal but due to the but due to the human factors their population decreasing population decreasing day by day population decreasing day by day earlier those number of animals which earlier as lies in a normal in a condition but now as a presently presently as a decreasing day by day and they may reach at the level of a endangered in future are the vulnerable species like the elephants elephants if we will not do the some of the efforts for a protection of a elephants at present then they will categorize under the endangered in future endangered in future so endangered are those number of species of animals which are reaching at a level of extinction which are reaching at a level of a extinction agar unhe protect nahi kiya gaya they will vanish they will finish from the environment next sorry endangered example as a tiger endangered species as a tiger one horned rhinoceros tigers present in a sundarbans one horned rhinoceros found in a uh, that, uh, sorry uh, <coughs> manas m a n a s manas national park of assam and the third black buck in a sariska of rajasthan black buck which is present in a sariska of rajasthan sariska bio reserve of rajasthan s a r i s k e sariska next are the endemic species of animals those species of animals which are lies in a particular weather conditions are known as endemic these are the endemic himalayan panda here an extinction extinct sorry those number of species of animals which are vanished totally as a finished from the environment are the extinct species these are the extinct species of animals clear these are the major categories of animals which are present in our country in our country but presently as a population of a species of animals decreasing day by day what are the reasons responsible for a, what are the reasons responsible for yes we can mark as a camel in a category of a endemic examples of endangered are tiger tigers present in a sundarbans of west bengal 
Sundarbans of West Bengal. I'm again repeating as examples of endangered species. Tigers present in a Sundarbans of West Bengal. One horned rhinoceros. H O R N E D. One horned rhinos present in a Manas, Manas bioreserve of Assam. And black buck of black buck. Black buck, B L A C K B U C K, present in a Sariska of Rajasthan. Sariska, S A R I S K, Sariska of Rajasthan. Presently, the yaks are present in a Ladakh region, in the northeastern parts of a Jammu and Kashmir. Yak, Y A K, yak. Any other questions? Any other questions? Next, we will proceed towards the, the factors responsible for the decreasing the population of uh, animals, species of animals at present. Yes, Pranay? Sir, sir, is calf? Rajasthan. R-A-J-A-S-T-H-A-N. Rajasthan. It's in a Rajasthan. We will mark all these places in a map. I will mark the all these. We will discuss here as the National parks, bio reserves, wildlife centuries, bird centuries also, one by one, in later. Clear? Any other questions related with the till that of a matter? Otherwise, we will continue towards as the factors responsible for a decreasing population of animals. So, as we discussed as earlier, the need of a natural resources, natural vegetation, conservation of a natural vegetation is a required for the growth for the growth of a biodiversity the natural resources are a common heritage which we have inherited from our forefathers we will pass them over to our future generations also conservation does not mean that we are not to the we are not to use the natural resources but it means that we should use them as the wisely so same as the all the plants and animals in a, uh, as we discussed they have they have to protect from the further depletion but what we have to familiar about the what reasons are responsible for the depletion of a such species of animals and vegetation so reasons responsible for the what are the causes responsible for depletion of depletion of animals first hunting hunting before of independence in a colonial period hunting it was a legalized hunting of animals why because the animal parts they demanded in a world market and one of the most exported materials from india as the animal parts their skin their horns their teeth such kind of materials legalized means legally law before independence, it was allowed by the law to which as people can kill the animals. So it was a legalized, but after the independence, government of India, it banned over a hunting. It banned over hunting because a large number of uh, animals, they reaching at the level of uh, extinction in our environment. So government protected them. So hunting as a one reason responsible for depletion of a wildlife species, Second, as a poaching, P O A C H I N G. Poaching, illegal smuggling of their body parts. Illegal smuggling of their body parts. First, hunting, poaching, illegal smuggling of their body parts. As per the present, if anybody ha having if anybody kept as the animal parts, their bones, their heads at their houses as for the decoration, this is as the illegal activity. It can, it can be as a convicted against of a law. Poaching as a illegal smuggling of the body parts, body parts of animals, body parts of animals, categorized under the poaching. Skin of tigers, Thorns of 
some of the sorry horns of a rhinos so such kind of a material if anybody have having it it is as considered as a illegal activity it can be as convicted law it can be as a while it can be considered as a law violated by the person third as a loss of habitats loss of habitats due to the deforestation loss of habitats human activities most number of human activities are occur in a region which earlier categorized under the forest land required for agriculture expansion of uh, cities products obtained from the forest so such causes responsible for the loss of habitats for the animals if animals not having their homes then what will be their impact human and animal there will be as a clash in between of a humans and in a villages in cities so which also one of the reasons considered as the consider as the decreasing population of a wildlife species wildlife species next is a urbanization and industrialization urbanization expansion of cities and industrialization responsible for they are also responsible for the killing of animals urbanization and urbanization and industrialization industrialization responsible for the decreasing number of animals from our pre from environment decreasing population of animals from forest these are the reason one more as a shifting cultivation shifting cultivation shifting cultivation so when the humans are living as a far away from the forest lands they may be as the less clash in between of a humans and animals but the state of a shifting cultivation which earlier practiced in india before independence under such circumstances tribals living in a forest lands they clash with the clash with the animals and killed them it also consider as a reason for a extinction of a number of species in india number of species in india it consider as a one of the reasons responsible for the decreasing a number of a wildlife species of animals so these are the reasons responsible for reasons responsible for the decreasing population of a wildlife species in india now as a steps taken by the government for a conservation of steps taken by government for conservation of conservation of steps taken by the government for conservation of wildlife species wildlife species first wildlife protection act of 1972 wildlife protection act of 1972 wildlife protection act of 1972 1972 as according to the this law 1972 wildlife protection act of 1972 killing of wildlife animals is illegal it is illegal killing of wildlife species of animals as illegal as illegal in our country clear second demarcation of bio reserves demarcation of bio reserves demarcation of bio reserves demarcation means day limit to mark their boundaries pehle kya tha earlier as a humans tribals they living in a forest lands to which as a they dependent upon a forest but now as a forest lands their boundaries are marked by the government boundaries mark means the humans can't interfere in a forest lands demarcation of bio reserves demarcation under which as a three types of a bio n a t i o n e l national parks refers to those forest lands 
those forest lands where animals living at their natural habitats natural habitats animals living at their natural habitats natural habitats and human interference is allowed in national parks as a human interference allowed means people they can go in a forest lands for a collection of a fuel wood they can go towards as a forest lands for collection of fuel wood they can practice as a agriculture human interference is allowed in a national parks example example jim corbett j i m jim corbett c o r b e t t jim corbett national park of uttarakhand j i m c o r b e t t jim corbett in uttarakhand jim corbett in uttarakhand gir forest of gujarat g i r gir forest gujarat g i r gir forest it is considered as the home of asiatic lion asiatic lion has present in a gir forest of gujarat gir in gujarat etc first national parks done national parks done second wildlife centuries wildlife centuries wildlife centuries those bio reserves where nat where animals living at their natural habitats natural habitats natural habitats these lands are protected from depletion these forest lands protected from depletion these forest lands protected from depletion means human interference not allowed in such areas animals living at their natural habitats and human interference not allowed tribal life life centuries these are known as a wild life wild life centuries those protected areas where the animals living at their natural habitats but human interference not allowed in such areas example sariska sariska in rajasthan periyar sariska sariska in rajasthan periyar p e r i y a r periyar in kerala periyar in kerala periyar in kerala in rajasthan sariska in rajasthan periyar in kerala periyar in kerala sariska in rajasthan periyar p e r i y a r in kerala third as a bird centuries bird centuries third exam third form of a bio reserves are the bird centuries bird centuries third example of third example of bird centuries as bird bird centuries are those protected lands those protected lands bird centuries are those protected lands protected lands where migratory birds migratory birds migratory 
birds migratory birds coming in particular seasons of the year Ex example as a winters during the winters they are moving towards the such bird centuries such protected lands such protected lands example siberian siberian crane siberian crane siberian crane siberian crane c r a n e siberian crane coming towards the bharatpur coming towards the <coughs> bharatpur bird century bharatpur b h a r b h a r t p u r bharatpur bharatpur bird century second as a periyar also a bird century periyar is also a bird century periyar is also a bird century clear so this much for today rest we will continue on tomorrow any questions still there any questions yes any questions bache if you are having the, any question you can ask rest we will do on tomorrow the rest of the efforts done by the government of india for protection of a wildlife species for protection of wildlife species we will do on tomorrow so this much for today thank you